Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make some green chilaquiles with chicken. So in case you guys want to learn how I make this easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay guys, so let's get started with the ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need 15 corn tortillas cut into triangles, 1 pound of chicken breast, 20 small tomatillos, 2 chile poblanos, 3 chile serranos, 1 cup of cilantro, a half of a white onion, a half of a purple onion cut into strips, one cup of Monterey Jack cheese, queso fresco, sour cream, some crema mexicana, olive oil, one chicken bouillon, cumin, salt, and pepper. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so we're going to start with preheating our comal and our skillet on medium heat. Meanwhile, that's preheating, we're going to start to prep our chicken. Okay, so first I'm going to start by cleaning out my chicken and cutting it into thin slices. I like to get rid of all the fat and all the veins that I see. Just get it as clean as possible. Alright guys, so once we have our chicken cut and clean, we're going to add some olive oil, some cumin, our salt and pepper. Okay, so just move it around, flip it to the other side and do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so once we have our chicken ready, we're going to place it on the skillet. All right guys, so now we're going to place our chicken on the skillet and our vegetables on the comal. All right, so now we're just gonna leave them in the comal until our tomatillos and chiles, onion and garlic are completely roasted. Um, just keep an eye on the garlic because the garlic is going to be the first thing that roast is first. Okay, so here we're going to cook our chicken for about five to six minutes on each side. So while we have that going, we're going to add a separate saucepan and we're going to turn it on on medium heat and add some vegetable oil. And this is going to be for our tortillas. So just add enough oil to fry our tortillas. So once your garlics are ready, just place them in your blender. And then once your tomatillos start getting ready, place them in the blender as well. All right guys, then once your oil is ready, start throwing your little triangles. And we're gonna make some chips. Once it starts turning a golden co um, color, take them out. All right guys, so now we're just going to take our chicken out. It should be done by now. And we're just gonna set it to the side. All right guys, and once your chiles are fully roasted, once they look like that, we're just going to place them to the side and cover them so that they can finish um, getting soft. And we're just gonna let them cool down. So I'm just gonna put them in a bowl with some foil and just let that cool down and we can finish up with our tortilla strips. All right guys, so this is how crispy and this is the color that your tortilla triangles should turn. Okay, so we're just going to do it to all of our tortillas and then we can move to our next step. So now we're just going to peel and devein our chiles. So now, for this chiles right here, these are gonna be spicy. See, so it's up to you if you wanna take out the seeds or just leave them like that. I'm gonna take out the seeds on mine so like that my kids can eat them. So after we peel them, um, just place them in the blender because we're going to blend everything together now. 
So I'm just gonna leave one with the seeds so it could be a little bit, you know, give it some flavor. <laughs> chicken bouillon and our cilantro so I'm gonna add most mostly all of the cilantro but I'm gonna leave a little bit just so I can garnish my chilaquiles once they're done so next we're just gonna blend it all together for at least three minutes or until everything is liquefied all right guys so before we strain it we're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees and also preheat the skillet or the pot that you're going to use to, um, so we can simmer our chile. Okay, so now we're just going to strain all of our sauce. And this is the same sauce, you guys, that you guys can use for your enchiladas. If you don't want to do chilaquiles, this is the perfect sauce for the enchiladas. All right, guys, and once we have separated our sauce, in the pulp um, don't get rid of this you can always create some salsa with it um, just add some lemon juice and some salt and that's it you have yourself a green salsa here all right guys so now we're just going to add about one tablespoon of olive oil into our skillet and we're going to add our sauce low medium heat we're just gonna let it come to a simmer um, so like our sauce can get a little thick and for at least 10 minutes ready for once my sauce over here is done simmering okay so after 10 minutes this is what our sauce looks like I'm going to turn it off and I'm just going to add some salt you can try it to see if you know if it doesn't need salt for you um, for me it always I always like to add a little bit more salt So now I'm just going to add my chips and just carefully soak them with the sauce. And I also like to add half of my chicken, just half of it, in here. And then the rest we're going to add it on top. So just move it around. Okay, so now I'm just going to transfer my chilaquiles into a roasting pan so I can put them in the oven. Alright, so now we're just going to top our chilaquiles with our leftover chicken. So just sprinkle it all on top. Our onions, and I'm just going to add onions on half of my chilaquiles because my family doesn't like onions and I love onions. So for me, the, the more, the better. Oops. Okay, so now we're just going to add some sour cream on top. and sprinkle it with cheese. So now we're just going to bake it for 10 minutes or until our cheese is melted. 
right guys, so after 10 minutes, this is what our chilaquiles look like. Um, they are ready to be served. I'm going to uh, sprinkle some cilantro. Just so we can add some more color and more flavor. Okay, so we're going to start serving. And it's gonna be kind of like a lasagna. Alright guys, and I like to add some crema mexicana on top of my chilaquiles. Just like that. And of course, the queso fresco. And now if you want to make it a breakfast meal, you can always add a fried egg on top of it. And you can have your delicious breakfast. Or just have it like that with some rice or beans. Lunch and dinner, super delicious. There you go. Hey guys, and now for the best part, taste test. My mouth is super watery. And so is Louis. <laughs> I got a little bit of everything. So good. Mm -hmm. This is seriously super delicious, you guys. Alrighty, guys, and there you have it. Super easy and delicious green chile chilaquiles with some chicken. So I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this recipe. And as always, if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. In the comments down below, let me know what other recipes you would like for me to do. And also, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. You guys are here well make sure you click right here so you guys can watch my previous video and if you haven't already make sure you click on my face so you guys can be part of our family thank you guys i catch you on my next video bye